look. <gasps> Shower me with DIY compliments. How satisfying is that? So bad. Hello everyone, welcome back to another week. I'm just gonna have a little sit down if you don't mind while we have a little chat, a quick catch up if you will. Um, it is currently Tuesday the 20th of March. It's 9.30 in the morning and I am waiting for a 10 o'clock appointment to show up at the house. Um, basically yesterday, I just had a bit of a nothing day. I was feeling quite demotivated actually. Um, so I just sat on the sofa and watched Queer Eye all day long and then I briefly paused to finish off my wardrobes here which I'll show you guys in a second um, and yeah I kind of was thinking to myself I wonder if there is an app which I know there are lots of apps that do this but for people that come to your house and they can do things like manicures, pedicures, all the usual kind of stuff, waxing and I know there are apps that do this but they are always predominantly in London zone one to three sometimes they'll stretch to four I'm in zone five so it's very annoying so I hit Twitter I asked people for any recommendations for um, apps that do actually cover zone five in London and a few people came back with two Ruby and what's the other one blow so I downloaded blow because that was one of the first um, recommendations and I have indeed booked myself some eyelash extensions for today. So I only downloaded the app yesterday. This is not a paid um, partnership or sponsorship or I haven't been paid to mention them. I've literally only just discovered them from a recommendation from someone off Twitter or from a few people off Twitter yesterday. So yeah. So I just had like a little notification on my phone a minute ago to say that the therapist has left, that she is en route. It says that you need to find somewhere flat to lie. So I'm thinking we're going to do it in the bedroom because I can just lie on the bed and we've got really good light in here. Uh, so yeah, I will keep you guys updated on that and I will show you guys. Obviously you can see the before now, I've got no makeup on. But I was going to show you guys my wardrobes before we get stuck into the eyelash situation. Ta da how awesome are they? I'm not gonna lie, but I'm well chuffed with myself, if truth be told. I mean, it looks so much better than the marble sticky. What do you guys think? Come on, shower me with DIY compliments because this is awesome. After the beauty person has been to do my eyelashes, I'm going to finally set about doing another wardrobe switch over. Over the last few days, I have had quite a few um, parcels arrive with a bit of an influx of spring and summer clothes. So yeah, I need to do the big wardrobe switcheroo. I don't have the luxury of having loads and loads of space. I'm, I'm very lucky with the space that I've got, but I can't keep my winter wardrobe out at the same time as my spring summer wardrobe out. So I need to do a bit of a switch over. So I'm gonna film that for you guys. This vlog is gonna be very heavy on the organizational front. Let's get into the organizational mind space, shall we? Because my wardrobe at the moment is looking hideous. I'll show you guys after this beauty person has been, but it's, it's giving me the biggest anxiety. So now that my eyelashes have been done, I need to crack on with the task at hand and what a mammoth task it's gonna be today. I'm about to show you the carnage that is my wardrobe. <gasps> Look at it, it's so grim. Look at that, it's so gross. Look at this, ah, uh, no, 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 no. Just so much no. This one actually isn't as bad, um, but it is looking overcrowded. Hello, have you come to help? Hi, how are you? Yeah, this one isn't as bad, but we are starting to see piles mound up down there. So yeah, some much needed organization and switcherooing is needed. First things first, I need to take everything out because along with doing the switcheroo today, I'm also doing another detox. So there's gonna be lots of stuff going to charity.
Okay, so the first stage is done. If you guys have seen me do this before, you'll know that I do each section like one at a time because I haven't got enough room to take all of this stuff out as well as everything here that was in my wardrobe. So this is looking ridiculous. Like who even needs this many clothes? I do. <laughs> I will now start to go through some of these piles. I think I'm going to start with tops and see what I want to keep, what I don't want to keep, and then I'll start to put it back in there. Now I've just been having a little think about how I'm going to lay out my wardrobes because I always change the layout as well just so that I feel a little bit more inspired. Um, and normally I would keep my blazers in here but because my blazers have kind of grown in size, the collection, I'm thinking that actually this side can be for my blazers and any long dresses, any long knitwear or coats as well, which I can't necessarily pack away, like this one, because it's so thick. All of those are gonna go in the wardrobe in the second bedroom, in the office. So Simon has, we have the exact same wardrobe as this, I'll show you guys later. Simon has this side, and then this side is kind of the Depop side. But as I have now basically taken most of my Depopping to charity, rather than selling it, um, I have this side free. So he's put some of his suits in there, and I think my coats can go in there, and his coats as well, so that we've both got more space. So what I've managed to achieve so far is I've just gone through my tops and I've put back all of the ones that I want to keep along with a few which have come straight out the washing, hence why they're looking rather creased and grim. The second problematic thing that I have to do is actually fish out the boxes, storage tubs up in here of all of my summer clothes and there are more t-shirts and more summer clothes in there which have now got to go back in here <sighs> right i've just finished my jeans so they are looking delightful up there tops t-shirts vests all that kind of jazz looking much better than they were before and then here that is now the pile which is Oh, there we go, growing to go to charity. Now, what I have got, oh, my old knees, um, is now a space on the bed here, a rather large space. So what I'm gonna do is start to empty out the coats whoop, from here, pop them all on there so I can then put the blazers in here and then start the switch around from that wardrobe that's in the office to put all my coats and all the long stuff in there. Wow, look at the array of blazers. Look at that, it's a rainbow of blazers. So this is looking much better. I'm gonna make a start on the knitwear, pull all that out, detox it, go through it, see what I wanna keep and what I don't wanna keep. And then this is now an empty space, but I'm thinking we have this unit downstairs which is like a shelving unit. Um, so I'm going to go and measure it in a minute and see if it would actually fit in there because that would be really useful to have some more shelves. Oh my god, it's been like an hour since I last picked up the camera. I'm going to show you guys what I have accomplished thus far. I've reached a level now where I've made mess in several areas all over the house and now I'm starting to lose motivation. So for the last 15 minutes, I've just been drinking a can of Diet Coke and eating Tyrrell's crisps. So my production levels are starting to plummet fast. I need to kind of pick myself up. So I'm hoping by showing you guys how organized I am, that that might give me a little boost to finish off the job. Cause I reckon I've probably got at least four more hours left doing this. Uh, and it's about half two, so I need to get a shift on really. Um, I went down to go and get that shelving unit which fits in perfectly and what I've done is put my handbags in there. They used to be up on that top shelf. In fact, some of them are on the top shelf. I've now put the bigger ones. And then down here I've whipped out the basket bags. They were both in storage. Really don't need two, but I can't bring myself to get rid of one, so they're staying for now. Plus one is bigger than the other, so technically they're different. Uh, on here, this is where I've got like non-designer bags. These are all very summery, kind of stringy bags. 
and then I've got a couple of basket bags on there which are going to go on this door as well because you guys know I love to utilize my door space like so. so this is looking good I've also got uh, denim shorts on here denim skirts here I have more to unpack of these these are just the ones that I had out from what I took to Florida and then I have two shelves which I've given myself for spring summer knits this actually hasn't changed this is where I keep all of my sweatpants and my hoodies so basically like my loungewear so I've managed to empty one tub which is good because now I've got knitwear to go in this tub. And then in here, oh my God, look what I've done. Look at the state of this. I moved my coats into here. So these are Simon's suits and then my coats and chunky cardigans, long cardigans, which I can't possibly fold. So they have to be hung, unfortunately. It is four minutes past five and I have just finished. Actually, that's a lie. I haven't finished. You should see the state of the dining room table downstairs. I'll show you that in a minute. But I have finished the wardrobe. So let's have a look inside and see how they look. Behind door number one, we have a rather organized looking affair. Now, behind door number two, we have... This is probably the most organized I've ever seen my wardrobe and I hope it stays this way. How satisfying is that? Look at the color order. Everything always runs from light to dark as well, guys, in my wardrobe. So I just like to have it all running in color order so that it, it just makes it so much easier when I get dressed. Uh, my rail is still bending, but I think that's just, you know, one of those things it's always gonna be bending because of the volume of denim that I have. Uh, belts exactly the same and then on here now my scarves have gone and because it is spring summer I have my hat da, 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 da. that is just beyond satisfying blood sweat and tears have gone into that today mainly tears now if we move on to shoes this is looking super sparse so what I've done is packed away lots of my boots so the boot area was looking quite thin. I normally keep, um, like I always keep my Chloe Susannas out. I've kept a few other styles out, but I'd imagine over the next couple of months, a few more of these boots will go away into storage. But right now it's still a bit chilly, so I'm leaving them out. Espadrilles have come out. Um, I've kept some flats, I've kept some courts, and I've kept some kind of mid heels as well. And um, because those are things which I tend to wear a lot. And then out here, in this one this is where I've put so this is my sandal uh, drawer here so I've got all my satin slides I seem to have an obsession with those as well it appears and then this one is my trainer uh, drawer so I've got Converse, Nike, Golden Goose, Saint Laurent those are Vans espadrille sneakers and then my new Gucci's there so that's all the sneakers and yeah that's it so it has been a productive day i have actually culled a lot of stuff i'm going to show you guys downstairs in a minute and this is the state of the dining table have you ever seen anything so ridiculous it goes back look it goes all the way back here anything so ridiculous hello here is where you will notice a few pairs of designer shoes that have been culled, unfortunately, but I was very, very ruthless this time round. Good morning, everyone. It's now Wednesday. Um, I've been up since six-ish. It's now eight. I've put my makeup on already, as you can see, and I've partially got dressed. I've started with the base of a white t-shirt. <laughs> And my PJ bombs. So I thought I'd pick you guys up now before I start getting dressed properly just to explain what's going on throughout the day. I am off at 8 30. I have a car picking me up to take me to Heathrow Terminal 5. Sadly I'm not actually going anywhere. What I'm actually doing is I'm going to shop. Woohoo! I have a collaboration coming up with World Duty Free surrounding my all-time favourite accessory sunglasses 
So I'm going there to meet with them today and pick out a few styles. Um, and then I'm going to be shooting that in, when is it, May? No, yeah, May. I'm actually going abroad to shoot it, but I'm not going to say too much about that. I just found this really cool um, hotel location. And so, yeah, we're going there for, I think, four days to shoot that and some other summer content. So that will all be vlogged as well. But right now I need to get dressed because my car is picking me up probably in about 25 minutes now. And getting dressed for me is sometimes a lengthy process. So now I'm actually ready. I can tell you what I'm wearing. I have my Ray-Ban foldable round sunglasses, t-shirt, basic white by Topshop. This double layered sort of vintage inspired necklace is by ASOS. This trench is new, that is from And Other Stories. And because I did my wardrobe cleanse reorganization yesterday, I dug out this, my Simon Miller bag. So I thought I would don that, seeing as we're coming into spring. These are the bleach wash jeans, which were in my Zara haul. And then these are my white ankle boots from June Black. Okay guys, I have just arrived to Terminal 5, so I'm just going to go and see if I can find the girls. I think they're hiding at Carluccio's and then I'm going to get taken through the back door to go sunglasses shopping. Right, I'm in the sunglasses section in World Duty Free. Look. Oh, wow. Love them, love them, love them. Look at all these, I've got so many to try on. I'm gonna try and find about five pairs. Let's get stuck in. Just got back from Heathrow. Uh, it's now five to one. So that's not bad timing. All the way to Heathrow, spent some time shopping, trying on sunglasses, and then back again in just a few hours. Um, now I'm currently looking at the state of the lounge. It's not messy or anything, but look, these are all the bin bags that we've got. So I did all those last night so I could clear the table all these and they're going to some girls homes and also some women's shelter charities so yeah lots of good stuff to go to those people in need hello everyone it is now thursday uh, it's about 12 o'clock in the afternoon and this morning i've just been downstairs doing some work simon's gone out um, I think I'm going to film another video, which actually is something I can tell you guys about. I mentioned in last week's vlog that we are going to do three videos a week for you guys now. And I'm going to try and get a lot more fashion content out. I really enjoy making these weekly vlogs. So much fun. It's really nice for you guys to see how we actually live. And you know that half the time I do spend it in sweats covered in dog hair and not in some glamorous you know attire um but yeah we do want to make more fashion content and so i've come up with like a few different ideas for some different series it's just taking on board a lot of the comments that you guys have left and a lot of the recommendations or requests rather and i've come up with one idea which i think i might film today and that is a look chic for less series so it's basically going to be finding certain things on the high street but we're talking like really affordable high street so these might actually be stores and items that i wouldn't necessarily buy myself because and i think we've had this discussion before i am getting a little bit older now and i am earning a bit more money than maybe what i did do 
five, ten years ago. And so it is kind of like a natural progression where I am spending more money and I'm more investing in certain pieces. Not everything, because I still love my high street. So this is going to be an ongoing series as well, by the way. So this is going to be something that I put out, you know, not necessarily every week, but certainly like every few weeks. And I'm thinking, what better way to start this very Emma style series than with blazers so i have actually done some sourcing i've gone out and i've requested a few things from prs um because some of this stuff i should also mention i will buy and then after i've bought it i'm going to donate i'm also going to do some more giveaways for you guys other things i will source from prs which will be on loan and they'll just be kind of like for me to show you guys what they look like how i would style them and then they'll go back to the pr so there's there's no kind of waste here i want to make sure that everything that i feature in these videos is utilized in some way i'm feeling oh croaky croaky i'm feeling a bit peckish and i haven't had a kfc in ages and actually this week i've been quite good with my diet i haven't really eaten a lot of junk food although simon's mum bought me an entire strawberry trifle which i have actually eaten this week but other than that all my other meals my breakfast lunch and dinner just bar dessert a trifle have all been relatively healthy i mean not the healthiest but i've had salad a few times but now i am craving a kfc and also kfc and like a fizzy drink, mainly a Diet Coke, gives me this kind of, well, it's not Coke, is it? it's Pepsi, Diet Pepsi, oh. Um, it kind of gives me, it gives me like a little junk food high and my productivity goes through the roof when I have a junk food high. So basically I can film a video, I can smash a few videos out all in the space of a couple of hours. So I am thinking of paying a visit to the Colonel just checking in again so i've just filmed this makeup tutorial so this should be up uh on thursday this week so i will show you all the products and the methods the methods that i used to, to create this face look i decided to skip the kfc however now that i've finished this i'm thinking i could film the blazer video maybe but it might take me a little bit longer to set up because I think I'm going to need to get my lights out. So technically I could go to KFC. Ooh, I just don't know. I kind of like would be really disappointed in myself if I go and have a KFC. But at the same time, <gasps> I want one so bad. What in the hell? Limited menu. Well, I'm not happy about this. What can I eat then? Do you know what? I'm going to see if they've got rice box. Yes, please. Hi, do you have any rice boxes? No, sorry, no rice box. What do you have? We have a fillet burger, zinger burger, chicken, wings, popcorn. Okay, I'll have a fillet burger meal, please. Cheese or normal? Cheese, please. Cheese, uh, thank you very much. Thanks. You can't even tower up, they've got no hash browns. First of all, they had no chicken. Now they've got no hash browns. Honestly, the Colonel needs to pay a visit to the UK because this is a disgrace. An absolute disgrace. Thank you. Crap. Good evening. Well, my KFC paid off because I managed to film another video, so it's now evening time i'm just gonna start taking off my makeup and getting ready to just kind of i was gonna say relax i've actually still got some work to do but i'm gonna sit in front of the telly with simon and do some work um on my lap whilst we're watching or catching up on our tv programs for the week tomorrow is a super busy day i've just got loads and loads of meetings like hopping from one meeting to the next so that's not really going to be very interesting or exciting for you guys because I probably can't vlog very much of the meetings. What else? Oh, the weekend. Um, I've actually just got some family stuff going on. So again, I can't really vlog. So I'm actually going to sign off here. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to the channel, of course, if you are enjoying what you're watching. And I will see you guys on Thursday because, of course, three videos a week for my spring
spring bronzed makeup routine slash tutorial. I don't know how much of a tutorial it is. I doubt you can learn very much from me, but at least I'm gonna list all the products that I use to create that look that you guys have been loving. So yeah, see you on Thursday. Bye. Don't want it to look like you've got a ghost neck. Crusty jokes.